watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss Hellcat Records, Give Him the Boot, or Give Him the Boot 1. Now this was released way back, couldn't tell you exactly, 97, 98? Yeah, 97. And this was the first Give Him the Boot that I bought because of the fact that the first track was an unreleased song by Rancid, The Brothels. Back in 19, back in the late 90s, of course, the music industry, they held the keys to the musical kingdom. And if you wanted to hear the kick-ass music that were behind the music industry's large doors, you had to buy the record. And so when it didn't really matter, I mean, of course, the Give Them the Boots were always reasonably priced. They were between, say, $7, 8 and $15, $16, and they always came with a poster and like 20 songs. So it completely justified the purchase. And considering the fact that there was an unreleased or a B-side Rancid song on here, oh, fuck. The record could have been 100 bucks, and I would have found the money and bought it because it's Rancid and it's that easy, you know? Uh, the poster for this was cool. And I loved how this was the record or the compilation that clued me into F minus. This was the compilation that clued me into Union 13 and Choking Victim by way of Infested. So this was a massive release that would then further me. No, no, wait, hang on. No, no, it was the gadgets too. That's right, there were four. So this was a massive release that springboarded me to start like this purchasing flurry of Hellcat releases because at this point in the 90s, Hellcat was fucking on fire, you know? And so through this, I ended up picking up East Lost Presents. I got At Ease, um, Choking Victims, No Gods, No Managers, which is easily like one of the best records ever made. And I absolutely love how the drums sound on that record. My overall, my two favorite drum sounds ever is Metallica's Saint Anger. I'm fucking with you there. I really like how this Lars's snare sounds on that, but no. My two favorites are, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Brugeria's Raza Odiata and Choking Victims, No Gods, No Managers. The drums, even though I'm pretty sure that Brugeria's drums on that record were a drum machine, I still love how they were produced. And I feel the exact same way about the drums on uh, Choking Victims, No Gods, No Managers. It's just too bad the guys in Choking Victim turned out to be a bunch of self-righteous assholes. It doesn't matter. Leftover Cracks are a great band too, but they're just too fucking full of themselves. They think, hey, we're all political, we're homeless, we're better than you, we're, we know more than you. No, oh, fuck off. You shove it up your ass. Anyways, um, yes, this is amazing. What else was on here? Uh, the Gadget's Beautiful Girl was on here, which I absolutely love that song. And unfortunately, I have seen that situation unfold for real a couple times throughout the course of my life. So it was an incredibly pointed meaning behind that song for me because, like I said, kind of hit close-ish to home. What else was on here? Uh, 17 and 17. Infested, of course. Uh, F minus is No Time. F minus were another great band. Wake Up Screaming is like one of the best records I've ever heard. But look, I am going to go. I've tried to keep this one short. I absolutely love to give them the boots. And the first and the second one are overall my favorites. I will say, though, the third or the fourth one is where they started to include the Necromantics. And I don't mind the Necromantics. They have their moments. And the Horror Pops as well, because I absolutely loved the first Horror Pops record. But my favorite give them the boots are the first and second ones, just because of like how pivotal they were for me at the point in my life where I was and how solid and like fucking punk they made me feel, which is so lame. But anyways, look, I'm going to go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for Hellcat Records. Uh, give them the boot one. This was released way back when. Who gives a fuck? Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, don't forget that the world is a better place because you are in it. Have a good night. What am I looking at? Jesus. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.